Oh, double standards. Oh, my yeah. God. On to the topic of the day, double standards. You know, do they still apply? Do you still use them? Do you throw away some and keep others? Oh, uh, I think you do what you want to do. And you kind of have to go with the flow. I, I keep saying it. You've heard me say it many, many times. A queen has said, I come from a generation where we were taught to be these independent women. You don't need a man and all this crap. And, you know, so here we are, a whole generation of women that, that were taught that. And, we, you know, we, we said do, we, we don't want the double standard. We are feminists, whether we decla- declare it or not. And we want everything our own way and doing our, our own money, bring home the bacon, fry up the pan, whatever. I, I, maybe I'm just a little bit old-fashioned, but I bought into that. And I'm not sure if that was the best way to go to try to balance things out. Because when I look at things, it's not much has really changed uh, in how we see and do things. Yes, there has been change. Yes, you have women that are very, very accomplished. So we're talking about, but the problem with that, if you talk about women who are accomplished, then where are the men that are also accomplished? It presents its own dilemma, okay? So women, well, they say women just want, they, you know, from kind of like the blogs I was looking at, they were kind of saying, like, just women just want too much. They just want it all, and you just can't have it all, and we're not compromising enough. You know what I mean? As soon as a woman feels like, oh, I'm accomplished, that means that I have to date. Now that I'm a college education, I have to date a certain pe- pedigree of man. And, like, you know, when other men would just go, oh, well, as long as I'm happy, I don't care what she looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. they care what you look like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Men are very visual. They are very, very visual. But there, there are double standards. I think I, I was, I was laughing at some of the double standard material that was put out there on the internet by men. You oh, know, because they keep talking about women and 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 how we we fuss and complain as feminists that things are not right. We want this, we want that, and all the laws that have been changed in our favor and. And we want men to be men, but we want them to be men. We want them to be men, <laughs> you know. So he has some funny, funny, funny stuff. Like he has, like, but that's the problem. He has a list of problems and that what the female perspective is and then what the male's perspective is. So something like, um, so we might say if a woman is not in the mood for sex, we say, well, it's expected. So if a man's not in the mood for sex, let's say you must be either gay or impotent, all right? So they said if... Um, if a woman is bad in bed, she can just lie back and the man do all the work. If a man is bad in bed, he's worthless. You know, dump him and find someone <laughs> who can satisfy you, you know. So, um, well, that one's true unless, you know, he has other really great qualities, such as a long bank account. <laughs> Maybe you can take that. Okay, so they're talking about, uh, they say, yeah, well, it's just awful. They don't use the word off, they use another word I'm not going to say. Low, low end job with no career prospects. Uh-huh. So if you're a woman, this is all you got to be is good looking. All right? But if you're a man, you're F. Okay? <laughs> you're not making any money. But how would go not necessarily? <laughs> like, okay, that definitely has to be from a man's perspective. Because what I say it's with that man. last one, with the man's perspective, no, you're not screwed. You just can't get, get probably the type of woman that you want. So if you work at McDonald's and you're really attracted to a woman that is just like she's beautiful and she has this job and she expects, you know, a certain well, category. Okay. Well, like it. maybe you're just looking at a woman out of your league because the girl right beside you that works at McDonald's will probably talk to you. Oh, but maybe oh, you don't okay. want to talk to her. Right. Well, I'm Because you think right. highly of yourself. Then it says if you're a man, if you have no money and you're the, you're the female, he'll pay. If you have no money and you're the man, you're effed. You know, if you have... <laughs> yeah, because the man's always going to want his meat back at the end of the night. He's going to not... I mean, come on now. He's not going to be like, oh, you want to go out? Sure, we can go out. I don't got no money. Okay, if I have to pay for my own stuff, you should not disrespect me by trying to ask for no cookies. Oh, well, no. Okay. Because then that would get annoying. Like, okay, you want me to buy my own stuff, then you want, then you want my cookies. And then I have to be the one that has to try to feel bad afterwards. Oh, how about this? I'm, okay. It said, okay, if the problem is 
you you know you you feel I'm being with you. Is that oh, my God. my words? Okay. If you feel horny and you want to get a one night stand, says that the woman can go to the nearest bar, club, etc. Sit or stand at the bar and give the international signs a woman looking for a drink, waiting for someone to buy you a drink, and then you get it on. I'm not using the still language kind of strong here. <laughs> and, but if you're a man, okay, and you and you want you you know you feel like you want you're in the mood, you spend hours getting multiple rejections <laughs> at bars, clubs, etc. Because you're not the most handsome and you're not rich enough. Or are you being used as, as a free drink dispenser? <laughs> <laughs> so this is definitely from a male perspective. We talk about the double standard and how we want to but do I don't, it. But, I, but still, why do you have to say you're not rich enough or not handsome enough? I mean, so men have this thing that if they're rich enough or they're handsome enough and they can get any girl. You know what I mean? Uh-uh, this is a man's I'm, stuff. I'm I don't sure, know. Like, I can't women, I'm sure there's some woman that does not look maybe great to a lot of people. Yeah. She's going to that bar and maybe somebody be like, I don't even want to touch her with a 10-foot pole. Well, oh, well, honey, they call them bag ladies, okay? During my day, you said, bag, you know what I'm talking about when I say bag ladies? They put the bag over their head and they do what they have to do. Oh, now we call them butterface. <laughs> butterface? Everything oh. cute, butterface. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Okay, right my day, it was, you know, you were uh, a bag lady. You just right. a bag lady. I mean, probably also from that point of view, a woman. You know what? <laughs> what? That's what they say. <laughs> but probably because I think, it, I, it, but I don't want to say it's easier for women. I think, yes, a little bit easier. But in our culture, I mean, is it that much easier? I don't know. You need to have, like, a man call in. Let us know. Because, I mean, so how now expect to get They go on. out and sleep every weekend with a new girl. So it can't um, be that hard. Oh, well. You know. They used to get rejected and saying no. Well, you were talking about the woman that says, okay, you're not attractive. And this goes back to what you were saying earlier. Uh, if, you're the, if you're the female, eventually someone will still settle for you, okay, because maybe you have other traits and other qualities and other things right. about you that, you know, that they uh, are interested in. But if you're a man, uh, you are F, unless you're rich or famous. If you're not what, handsome? Yeah. If, if, unless you're rich or you're famous, and baby, you need to marry a gold digger, okay? What? That's not true. Uh, this, 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 uh, this is I can't really believe stuff. that's even men's perspective. They have a low self-esteem of themselves. They need to get it together. <laughs> this does not sound like men. This is, you can't cook and don't want to do the housework. So, if you're a woman, you're a liberated woman. I like this one a lot. I might, I, I still got to go with this one. You don't have to do those things anymore because you're liberated. You, <laughs> if you're the man, what a lazy slob. You just want a woman to do everything for you. <laughs> uh, anyway. No, we're liberated because we got to work with 9 to 5 too now. Yeah, nine nine to five. Five. That's a big change. I wish it were just 9 to 5. You know, you work these long hours. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, so, man, it's like, okay. I understand, you know, um, things have gone up, inflation. So the reality is most people need two income for a house. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. However, if I'm working, I don't, there's just some things you can't expect me to do. For one, shut up. You can't expect me to shut up no more. Yeah. Now, if I, you know, wasn't paying no bills and I sat home maybe and did the cooking and cleaning, Okay, well, maybe I need to be quiet just a little bit more. Well, that's taking care of a house and you have no help is hard work. Okay, keep your, keep a house up to time. That's a lot of work. You're working like a slave every day. Okay, so I will never diminish the value of a stay at home wife nor mother, uh, particularly if they don't have any help and right. it's just them. Because then when you bring the children in, then oh, you have God. you have two to three more jobs added in. So not only do you not a disaster <laughs> but people do it been doing it for uh, you know, thousands of years. What I'm saying is, you know, your, your workload increases by so much as being at home. I mean, right. not only now do you have to uh, you know, manage that, that your home and make it suitable for you and your spouse and maybe, you know, guests and friends and other family that are adults. 
Now you have to do the same for your children. I think that's a double standard we still have. Like, people do not care that you have uh, a 40-hour week to an 80-hour week job. As a woman, they still expect you to, you know, come home, cook, clean. So, so they're still bonding to the traditional role. Yeah, that, I, I still uh-huh. think, you know, men especially still want that traditional role of, no, you cook, you clean, and you make daddy happy. Well, you know, and I'm not, and I'm not saying that I object to it 100 uh-huh. percent, but I feel like if I'm working, then I want uh, my uh, spouse or some significant other to understand that we're both working. So we have to the same way we we sharing the money, putting the money into the pot. Then I think other things should be shared okay. as, as well. So if you're not working. And all the bills are being paid. You gonna say that your house is gonna be spanking clean? No, See, exactly. So it's kind of like a catch twenty two. Yeah, by paying somebody else to do it, <laughs> but they expect it like that. Well, you know, you need help. Give me some Listen help. To you. Give me some help. They they have help with their job, so you need help with the That's house. That's right. Oh at, at work, they got help. And you got they got help all over the place. If you run the business, you got your, you know, all the people under you to work for you, that you can help you do your business. If you were in a company working and you're in management, even if you just, you know, uh, you uh, got like six pages uh, of stuff. information. I think talking and you about it. Haven't talked about it. Are you just well, talking about your own experiences? But this is the thing. Know, while you're looking over that, something that annoys me. So uh, I hate. Be good. You know what? I hate it when like a woman gives a, a advice. Maybe, okay, we can say relationship advice. And there's a, well, do you have a man? And it's like, well, no. But what if you didn't choose to want a, didn't choose to want a man or choose, then it's like, I can't listen to you. But then a man can be single and give women advice. Why do we listen to him? Oh. That doesn't make sense to me either. Oh, I, um. Or a man that wasn't even able to keep his wife or been through divorces. And, but we'll still listen to him over a woman. Well, you know, that's a double standard going the, the like other way. Either. You don't like, well, you know, it's, I think it's just a, the, the overall uh, point of view, the double standard, that we tend to uh, depend on men just to be uh, wiser in general, period, oh. across board. I mean, as a society, well, they do say, I mean, a male dominated. You know, men will, they're made to fix something. If you tell them this, that's how their mind works. Fix it, do it now. Why women, you know, they say we're a little bit more indecisive and contemplating. You know, I was looking at this, this study, okay, by uh, Susan Wells. She was talking about the sexual double standard cuts both ways. And I, she had some interesting stuff, a little bit different than what I read. But uh, she was, uh, and, and states that in two separate studies, researchers found that men with high numbers of sex partners, but not men, uh, with low numbers of partners. Oh, I remember, I, I mean the yeah. wrong one. Okay, in other words, a man whore will <laughs> like you less. I'm using her words right. here. Uh, in other words, a man whore will like you less after having sex with you, while a less sexually experienced man will like you more. So if you if you go out here and you and you decide that you're gonna have you know an affair or a relationship with, or you like to have a relationship. But the man that's been around the corner 50 billion times, uh, he may he may dip and leave. Okay, he may dip and leave. But a man well, that's just, true because I mean to him it's more of a conquest. Yeah, and yeah. I mean and, and I feel like that's why you know women are like no I'm going to need you to pay for the date, and no I don't want to go Dutch because I know at the end of the day you're just trying to get what you want, and I don't really know what your intentions are right now. Yeah. So, so, I mean, some women do play that game of, I'm just going to try to get as much, you know, money and dates as I can. But I but I feel like, I don't feel like they're really a gold digger as it's just, you're trying to see where their intentions are. Well, then, to, well you have to spend time with someone to see if you are And it doesn't have yeah. to be just money, even just spending time. Right. A time is every present. time I talk to you and you're talking about trying to put me in bed, you're not really serious. Right. They right. also did a, um, a study talking about um, with teens. And they were saying how... Well, the hormones are surging then. Go ahead. Right. But it was amazing how they said um, men were just, like, so much more popular that, you know, of course, slept with a whole lot of teenagers. And then the girls were just kind of, like, cast aside. And 
what was scary is that they even put like a social economic part on it and that boys that came from lower social economics were praised even more for having a lot of, a sex. Lot of sexual partners. Well, there you go. So that's even scary with just like even double standards, just in social economic standards. It's just like Well, in different standards. I just it's like, Oh, I don't have education, I don't have money, so the only thing that I can use is my penis. Well, it must be working because there are a lot of... Uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all of these families, heads of uh, heads of households tend to be women. So something, I'm, just, I'm not saying that I agree with it. I'm just right. saying that uh, it, 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 it must be working. And I mean, the double standard, sometimes I do say women, we do have to make sure who's coming in and who's going out just because women just to me lose so much more. Well, that's and the that's whole my, right. that's well, my that's opinion. A, I could be wrong. Well, that goes to the whole double standard about women having a lot of casual sex experiences versus the man. And when women, no matter what, we know that women are still looked at differently if you have a lot of sexual partners and versus a man. A man is looked at, oh, well, yeah, that's what men do. But no, just even going far as being pregnant and it's mama's baby, dad's baby. Baby, right. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, if he doesn't pay his child support, if he doesn't spend time with the kids, he doesn't look that bad, but still, his life hasn't been really changed that much. Yours, on the other hand, you changed your body. You have to change your mindset. You now think for two. It's so much harder on a woman. A three or four or five or six. Or, or eight. eight. Or you know, eight. they be going mm-hmm. up to eight. They be having a lot of kids. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, a woman has so much to lose, and it's kind of like Well, so much to think about. And so many decisions to make, and so many life-changing decisions that she will have to live with for the rest of her life. And we're in the uh, the man that's not a good father, not uh, some, not a good choice uh, uh, to be the person whose sperm you allow to impregnate you. Uh, get to continue on, okay? Right. And, and 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 not only will he impregnate one woman, he may impreg- impregnate. Several, like the show coming on. Talk about this, this rapper, that rapper Shorty Love. They're like having a partition. A petition, petition against it. Yeah, go I said partition. Yeah. <laughs> petition. Going around because they're really mad. Like this is this is an awful depiction of you know this man with I think he has like what ten baby mamas and eleven kids and this isn't right. Okay, how about the man? They need to really have that man that's like 30 years old with the 22 kids. That's who they really need to have on the What? Head. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I think it's like, and then there was like someone else. It was between the the father and the son. It was like maybe 50 kids. I mean, some men out here, I I even met this man. He said he had 21 kids. For different women. By different women. Like five different women. Wow. You know, I, and he knew all the names. All of them began with D. Wow. And his name was like Dwayne. Wow. I only saying, well, you know, because you know, we, you know, we have some relatives back home that have huge families, uh, even in this setting, the largest. So even they were I married. Think it, they were married. All about his, you know, husband and wife. All the kids, same mom and daddy. I think it was like sixteen of them, and we used to be amazed by that in this day and time. But you know, they were married. But anyway, so. Different standards, I think, is this, yes, even, even in dating, because as women, we tend to uh, expect uh, the, the men to really t- take a lead in the relationship as uh, as much as possible. We, so we because I think it's better when a man likes you and shows you that he cares more about you. Because yeah. just like you were talking about Kenya Moore, it's not cute to see a woman pining for a man's attention, wanting to get attention from him, saying we don't spend enough time together. It just really makes the woman look pathetic. It's in the fact that they sit up here and say, women can get a man like this. So why would you beg for a man's attention when you don't have to? There's plenty of men that would give it to you, not that it's all positive. Well, However, she was really, I thought she was like a bit over the top for someone uh, with her uh, background, potentials, and her beauty. You don't have to beg for a man like that. She's attractive enough. Well, and, maybe she's crazy. I mean, um, you know, just like she said, I'm not a girlfriend, I'm a wife. And he was like, well, if you're such a great wife, but you haven't got married yet, then there's something wrong with you. Mm. So I was like, how about uh, this? Uh, this is from another article. Excuse me. And Thank now God. you're yawning. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I was twice in the middle of the night, I was having leg cramps last uh-huh. night. All right, men's press. She just is kind of neat. 
immense prestige and correlated attractiveness come from the attention they receive from women and from success at sports and school pol- and school politics and in other arenas when they were looking at college people mostly. Women's prestige and correlated attractiveness come only from the attention they receive from men. All right? So men gets all the attention from women. Uh, uh, he is gauged by the number of women that are after him, looking at him, and success in sports, uh, politics, school, and in other areas. Where women, it's just for us, it comes from the attention we get from men. Uh, so meaning... Well, that's funny because, you know, sometimes people say really like women just worry about what other women say. So they're saying that really, it, I guess it doesn't. It. It's just your perception of how many men think you're hot. Mm. Oh. I don't really like that one. Well, <laughs> you know, I, and then they used that, uh, uh, this same article uh, by a, uh, this Walsh uh, lady. Says the, uh, she gives an example uh, where one college uh, woman attempted to insult another uh, college student and said to the woman, you may be able to do calculus, but I'm dating a football player. You know, so basically. Uh, see, this is high school. I can't, uh-oh, I am not putting nothing in high school talking about they dating a, a football player in college. college. Okay, oh. no. I. But the point being made <laughs> is still her, uh, the man she's it's, it's, not, it's less important to be smart than it is to be have the attention of a man that's popular. That's that's the point. So and that's a whole other area of careers. And, uh, I mean, that's like when, I mean, as soon as you get uh, a boyfriend, what does he do? Sure. What does he look like? Are you going to bring him around? Like, they're so ready to just jump on and be, you know, trying to be all up in your business. Women are just nosy. Well, see, and that's what, and see, a shift has occurred. And when, during my generation, when I, you know, was on the teens and 20s, we were moving away from that. We were independent women. And um, so it didn't really matter what the man did so much. For those of us who bought into this feminist movement of stuff, and but now we realize, oh, wait a minute, you know, it does matter because the first thing that people will say to you is, you know, well, what is your what does your husband do, you know, or if you, your friends they want to know, well, you know, who did you end up with, and and it's a way of gauging your success in life by what your man does, and we thought that had changed, but it hasn't changed. But I hear so many men nowadays just. I mean, even my cousin's so proud of the women they're able to get. And they have nothing going on. And they sit up here like, my, you know, the girl that came visit me is in a BMW, and he got a master's. But you, I mean, literally at McDonald's, being able to get these women. Well, So well, all women are not, you know, stuck up things. I would just like to say that. Do you have anything else before we wrap it up? Well, I just know that the, the devil said it is out there. And, you know, and deal with it and, and live with it. We're women, we're men, and I'm glad we're different. I appreciate the differences, uh, you know, just and and appreciate the fact that we are made to be, to, be, to come together and be together. So do you think they're always going to be here? What's that? Double standards. Oh, you think uh, I'm like, men? Like, like, yeah, I hope so. Oh, well, <laughs> double standards. I mean, I think, think they're so. going to evolve more. Um, I, you know, I, 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 yes, I think they will always be here because it is people who have power are not going to give it up easily. And so we in this male-dominated culture, why should it just turn it over 100% to us? It's going to shift. We're more open to a lot more things. Right. Uh, and and it's, it's, the shift is going to be gradual, just like uh, the, the shift from, <clears throat> from having the first black president in America happened. People are still scratching their head about it. You I think know. there's definitely going to be a, a shift as more women. Like, it's really becoming – workplaces are being dominated by women. Sure. And, I mean, I really can see maybe in the next 20 to 50 years where women are acting like men. And they're just like, you know, well, they were talking about bam, bam, <laughs> thank you, sir, and now I want to go to sleep. There was one study that said that, well, you know, last hey, last study, all right, right, well, one college. study to talk about that, that they, uh, the men and women start college, there uh, there are more men who are virgins, like 43 some percent, than women. Uh, no, 73 of men virgins and 43 of women are virgins starting college nowadays. I thought that. Really? 
was I didn't find that it was an interesting amazing. statistic. Um, you know, yeah, well, when was that done? Nineteen fifty. That could not have been done recently. But um, I mean, I think they also said um, that I mean, more people that are going to college are more versions of what you think, of course. But I mean. You know, well, double standards are double standards. We're not going to be able to do anything, but the emphasis accept them. Maybe I don't want to yeah. accept them. I don't want to live by double standards. No, I don't. I so think not you do just that. everything. You kind of go go with the flow. Even though and my boyfriend's listening, he's probably going to be texting me like, "Whatever, girl." You know, I, I'm like a man to be a man. I'm I, I'm kind of. I mean, I'm I'm new school, but I'm old school at the same time. So I like for a man to be. I like I like being a woman. I love being a woman. Period. Let me just say that. Besides the cooking and cleaning part. I didn't say that I was going to go over that. I just enjoy it. You just like, you like have the grown, fun part. I've grown like, to appreciate the, my femininity. How about that? Okay. Well, I, I like all parts. I have a poster in the house, and it says, I hate the four little words, cook, wash, dust, or, or I forgot the last word. Iron, I think. Iron, yeah. yeah. So everything else besides those, I love being a woman. R.I.B. family, I guess at the end of the day, this is going to be double standard. You can live by them, live without them. I choose to, you know, not live without them in my life, um, even though people always put them on me. So just just relax, enjoy life. Every relationship has its own its own life, uh, its own history, its own identity, and just kind of go, go with the flow. That's go all I have to say. So definitely make sure to check us out on ribradio.com. You know, we're always on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Everything is RIB Radio. We made it so easy for you. This is Aquinas. And this is your girl, Gigi. And this is RIB Radio, where we are made from a man, but built by women. Hey, ladies, stand up. It's the year of the woman. Stand up. It's the year of the woman. Don't take no stuff now. They stand up with me. Welcome to RIB. Welcome to R.I.B. Welcome to R.I.B. with the Queen is Angie.